Hey, it's Alex Jason, you guys, Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Because you're all doing fantastic. It is hot today. It's like in the 80s. I don't know what's happening. I'm like sweating. But happy Friday. Tomorrow, today's actually um, Mother Mexican Mother's Day. Um, but happy Mother's Day to all the mothers and everyone out there. Um, it is about 2 o'clock. I am going to head out to go to Veterans Thrift. I haven't been there all week, so let's go. All right, just got to the store. I'm super excited. Okay, I'm looking at the handbags. $50, what is this? Jonah Pfeiffer? I don't know that brand. But I knew she loved. This was kind of cool. It's a 29. I think it's pleather though. No figure. What do we have over here. Come on. Ralph Florin. That one is Ganson. My something. I love Lucy Wallet. This is a fake Michael Kors. A little clutch. It just says made in Italy. Forty bucks. Yeah, it's vintage Junian for a wallet, but it's thirty dollars. This coach is all torn up. Leather. Uh, there is this Rebecca Minkoff, but this one is $30. That's an older style. Um, been roiling. Let's play bad. I just found these Balenciaga shoes, but they're two hundred. And then there's also this Gucci sweater, 200 size small. I actually think this they're both authentic. There's also this vape sweater for 180. Oh, they have these Birkenstocks. They're expensive. What are these? Look like bubbles. Nike. They have quite the items up there. I think there's an Izzy Miyake, Philip Lim. Look at those, like the those red shoes. Um, there's a Tory. They're all pretty expensive. Chanel. 
I think they're fake. I don't know what this stuff is, but it's very expensive. I wonder if it's... What's that one that's 300? It looks like an Elsa Peretti Tiffany thing. But I don't know about these other items. But they're cool. The Kate Spade pouch wall or bag is 100. Okay, just found some awesome dust bags. Found a fashion file. This one's a Fendi one. Fendi. These are Marnie and then ah, oh, Givenchy. Oh, this one's 10 bucks though, but I'm gonna get it anyway. Hey guys, I guess we are back at the house and I wanted to show you guys what I got from Veterans Thrift. So, I did, oh, first of all, I did get that Junie and Burke, it was like that round mirror thing. It was like in a leather, uh, like a little leather case. I did get that, it's sold already, so I don't have it anymore to show you guys. But that was such a cute find, and it was brand new. I did also end up getting all of the dust bags because you have to when you find like a good dust bag. This fashion file one, $1.50. The, uh, this set of Marnie dust bags, which were probably for boots, but you can use it for whatever. These were $3. Of course, my battery is dying right now. So rude. Then I got this Givenchy one for $10. And this one was a Fendi one, which is awesome, for $1.69. Then I did also pick up this little Furla zipper pouch. I might actually use this for a giveaway for the next live. This was $2.50. Then I had to pick up the brand new aloe tote bag. I mean, you have to, right? This one was so good. This was $6.00. And yeah, these retail for 48 bucks. So I got the allotope. And then the last item that I got is this ALC crossbody flat bag. This is in a gray snakeskin. It has gold hardware. It's in really great condition. The inside is lined in suede leather. There's one zipper pocket. It's in great shape. I forgot how much this was. I ripped off the tag already. Um, I think this was like around $35. But this bag I know retails for hundreds like four or five hundred I believe and it is just a beautiful bag and I love that you can actually um use this as a clutch as well just like throw the pat like the straps into the bag like this and then you just have like a really cute clutch uh I think you might even be able to can you double up no you probably can't do that can't double it up because that's like the top flap doesn't have like a magnetic snap or anything. It just has like this little charm weight on it and that keeps it closed when you close the top flap down. And yeah, that is it for today. I hope you guys had fun checking out what I got, heading over to Veterans Center. I haven't been there all week, so it was really, really nice. Uh, don't forget to tune in tomorrow, bright and early at 7 a.m. for a new video. Join me at one of the live sales. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Oh, and happy Mother's Day. All right, bye guys.